Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 So, Colin, have you ever watched the movie 北京遇上西雅图 As it can be literally translated to Beijing meets Seattle. Ah, this movie. Yeah, I watched it because its name kind of made me curious. Until I found out its English name turned out to be Finding Mr. Right. <laughs> yeah, so then I knew it was a romantic comedy. Yeah, right. We know how much you adore romantic comedies. Come on. <laughs> 那刚刚这个电影啊，其实就是典型的爱情喜剧，对吧 ？Romantic comedy. 口语中呢，可以直接说成 romcom. So why did you ask about it?、Uh, the movie was years ago, right? Yeah. Actually, what I wanted to ask you about. It's how you feel about the male leading role. The male leading role? You、mm-hmm. mean the、um, the man with the gray beard? Yeah, male leading role 就是男主角。电影的男主角大家还记得吗？就是胡子大叔吴秀波。那你看电影的时候觉得他怎么样？ Um, you know, I I don't care about the male <laughs> role, <laughs> but he he seemed to be a nice and reliable guy. Yeah, but you know now he's rarely seen. And has become one of the misbehaving entertainers. Misbehaving entertainer. Hmm. What does that mean? This is a misbehaving entertainer. That means that this actor has done some unethical things in his life, or has even violated the law. Like Wu Xiaobo, you know, that man was not a good guy as he seemed. He was caught up in a threesome, and he was offered to pay the amount of money due to the threesome. Then he told his wife, Chen Yilin, that he was caught up and sent him to jail. 那这个陈依林今年就是刚刚出狱了。嗯、hmm. ，Well,、uh, I didn't quite get it, but it sounds very dramatic. <laughs> right, it is. So today, let's talk about that. 那我今天又带着 Colin 呢，一边来吃瓜，然后呢，大家可以一起来学英语。今天呢，给大家送个超棒的福利：早安英文会员课程的七天免费体验权限，只有十个名额哦。同时呢，大家也可以加入早安英文的 Telegram 社群，来群里和我们一起交流。社群地址和七天会员的免费领取链接都放在评论区了，欢迎你来。Okay, so this guy who had the persona of a caring family guy turned out to be having an affair, right? Right. 吴秀波之前的人设就是非常顾家，然后又是很有魅力这种大叔。这个人设呢，就可以用到。Persona, but now he's become a persona non grata. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good phrase. Yeah, persona non grata.、Uh, as you can tell, it's from Latin, meaning an unwelcome person. 对，这个 persona non grata 意思就是说这个人非常不受欢迎，可以在正式场合里面用，比如说在外交中呢，不受欢迎，不准入境。但其实这种随意场合呢，也可以用。It can be used in casual occasion, right? Yeah, yeah, it can. Like we can say,、mm, Max is a person non grata to me because he didn't pay me the bill I bought last night. <laughs> All right, but you know what Wu Xiaobo had done was much more serious. He had an affair. 那说回吴秀波，他就是婚内出轨嘛。这里很常见一个单词就是 affair。如果你要强调是婚内出轨，就是 extramarital affair. Marital 这个形容词前面加上一个 extra。Right, marry is the verb, marriage is the noun, marital is the adjective, and extramarital is the worst. 总结的太精辟了啊 <laughs> ！But when talking about that, we don't usually say extramarital affair, right? We can just simply say he's having an affair. Right, because、uh, affair is used to talk about the secret relationship between two people when at least one of them is married to someone else. 对。所以这个婚内出轨呢，大家直接说 affair 就可以了。And Colin, is there another way of saying having an affair? Oh yeah, we can say、uh, he was being unfaithful. Unfaithful 就是信念、信用的那个 faith， 对吧 ？Like I have faith in you. Right, and being unfaithful is used specifically for people who are having an extramarital affair. So we can't say you're being unfaithful to your friend. No. No, we we can say a friend is dishonest or disloyal, but not unfaithful. Got it. 就是这个朋友对你不忠诚，你可以说是 dishonest, disloyal. 但是不能用这个 unfaithful， 因为它就是指呢夫妻之间的不忠。那还有一个词哎 ，cheat. Can we use this word here? Cheat. Yeah, you can use that. Like he's cheating on his wife. 
But note that we use cheat for boyfriends and girlfriends more often. Okay, cheat 这个单词大家应该也很熟悉啊，就是出轨嘛。那它更多的时候是说男女朋友出轨，婚内出轨呢，你也可以用它，但是你要把它说清楚，然后注意它用的介词是 on. He's cheating on his wife. So okay, so what about this uh, cheater uh, Wu?、Mm-hmm. What else did he do? You know, he's been having the affair for seven years, during which the mistress was just like his maid, cooking, cleaning, and doing his laundry. Uh, so he got tired of this, and they broke up. Yeah, 就是在一起七年之后呢，可能也是这个男方越来越火了，就要分手。那女方就提出要分手费了。You know, the money for breakup. Oh, the money for doing laundry for seven years. <laughs> yeah, right. So, is there a name like this breakup money, like a breakup fee? Uh, breakup fee is often used for corporation takeover agreements, but if you use that in a certain context, people will understand. Um,、mm, okay, 就是分手费嘛，它其实不是一个就是正常存在的东西吧，所以没有一个特定的翻译。其实就是说女方找男方要赔偿，对吧？哎，那能不能用赔偿这个单词 compensation? Yeah, you can use that. Like it's the woman who brought up the topic of compensation, right? 嗯哼，是的，就是女方提出要这个分手费 compensation， 或者可以说 breakup fee。而且你知道她要了多少吗？就是三百万、六百万，最后两千万、六千万。You know, she even asked for sixty million yuan. <laughs> Well, that's blackmail. Yeah, <laughs> I guess he was already planning to sue her. You're so right. You 猜的很准。就是当他要这么多钱的时候，那吴秀波就和老婆坦白了，然后起诉这个女方呢，敲诈勒索。这个敲诈勒索就可以用到这个词 blackmail. Black 就是黑色那个 black. Mail 就是邮件。And it can be used as a noun, like he's the victim of blackmail. But no one showed any sympathy. Right, he totally deserved it. Or it could be used as a verb, like in this sentence: She blackmailed him for months by threatening to tell the newspapers about their affair. So she also deserved it. <laughs> yeah, the exact same comment. 对呀、啊，做错了事嘛，肯定都得自己来承担。就这个 blackmail， 大家要知道啊，它名词、动词呢都可以用。So how did the affair end?、Uh, is she in jail? Uh、mm-hmm. huh. In jail, 就是说。进监狱了嘛 ？Yeah, she was put in jail for years and had just got out there. Oh, and he was the misbehaving entertainer, right? And he has been banned from all screens. Well, every error you make comes with a price. Exactly. 就自己踏踏实实努力呢，来经营好一段感情才更重要。所以大家对吴秀波和陈依林这一段 affair 有什么看法呢？也欢迎在评论区分享给我们。Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening. This is Colin. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye. 今天的节目就到这里了，大家别忘了去评论区领取我们的福利——早安英文会员课程的七天免费试听名额，只有十个，先到先得。最后，大家如果想加入我们的听众群，也可以在评论区置顶找到我们的 Telegram 社群地址，欢迎你来玩。This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来。早安，英文。